All right, hopefully that works, but if not, then we'll find out. But anyway, <clears throat> I uh, wanted to do this uh, journal kind of like simultaneously. It is actually two in the morning on this day of June. So not gonna be super loud, but um, I do wanna have some sort of excuse to talk about something and to test the uh, the new mic system, system I do have. And it's uh, basically, here, I'll even show you, involves with this. One of these mics is already on my uh, my shirt, but uh, it actually sticks, it can stick to you via magnet, which is pretty cool. And then you have like a necklace set up and then you just stick it there. And this is like a charger case for it. Uh, it's, a, it's a Hollyland something. I'll leave it in the description, but yeah. It's a charging case that it comes with. It has the, the what do you call it? The system right there to charge. And then the two mics right there. You close it like that and it'll charge. Which is actually really cool. So it's actually plugged into my GoPro. So that way I don't have to actually like um, transfer from my phone, put it on the Google Drive, pull it from Google Drive to my computer, so on and so forth, that eliminates that step. And if I can potentially do that, um, then that's going to be a lot more streamlined, especially if um, this media mod thing works for this GoPro anyway that I also bought, which is, you know, an extra thing, but you know, you do what you do, what you gotta do, right? So hopefully all this stuff works. If not, then, you know, we'll just stick with what we have, which is still working anyway, but I just wanted to, um, you know, make this video to test that and probably talk some like personal thoughts or whatever um, uh, for this card detailing journal of mine. It's been a it's been a hot minute since I've last made one. I still I I completely forgot I still have this uh, tripod right here sitting there, which I did use to set up the um, one of the shots for uh, not this car but the Corolla I had in this garage for um, the ceramic coating, which I did. Um, Successfully, for the most part, I would say 95%. Um, I still even have the applicator sponge. And um, and I still have this, the eight year ceramic coating from DIY Detail. Um, I have yet to actually like test out the hydrophobics on it. So I have like no idea how that's been performing, but it's been slick though. And um, I can definitely see that it doesn't get dirty as quickly um, from my observations. So it's actually pretty cool. So it's already working for, for sure, um, especially in the back anyway. Um, there is one stain or whatever, quote unquote, that uh, I can definitely get out easily um, just by looking at it. Uh, look, It just look, kind of looks like a weird accumulation of um, brake dust on there. So uh, I can definitely get that, get that off uh, easily. It did rain a little bit, like a tiny bit. It's like it's like really one of those like fine mist kind of rains. So we'll definitely see about that. But by the time this uh, video comes out, that would mean I would already washed my car by then and stuff like that. And I already have and I already have produced or shot another video for another thing, another time. Um, but basically, sneak peek, quote unquote. I do have this, which is the Nano Skin Non Acid Wheel Cleaner and Tire, of course, Non Acid Wheel and Tire Cleaner, and uh, it's a lot more brown than I thought. Um, it has a pretty similar look in comparison to like Dark Fury, which is uh, kind of fascinating. Which means I feel like if I were to do this comparison to Dark Fury uh, in that video, I will. Uh, probably see similar results with each other and they probably have like a similar um, result you know in terms of cleaning power and all that stuff and usability all that fun jazz it looks blue but I have a feeling that once you actually use it it'll foam differently in a different color or whatever but we'll see about that and um, if this works as well as Dark Fury I'm gonna go to this because this was 20 bucks Per gallon it's which, which is great although there was a point where it did go up to 34.99 which is the same about with uh brake buster and uh same with um dark fury pretty much if you count everything into consideration with like tax and everything 
all that fun stuff. Um, I already only have half of this left, which is eight ounces. So I'll probably wind up using all of it um, during the, te the next test. And, um, and then I have this next. And then I still have this gallon of, of um, Brake Buster, which I'm just like uh, really going through it fast on purpose because it kind of needs it, honestly. But I think Brake Buster, um, I think I said this in other videos, but I'll say it here too, is probably a better wheel cleaner than it is a tire cleaner. But there are already out there but right like better cleaners like this one for example probably likely and dark fury you know they both they both do wheels and tires better than brake buster does so it's like why even get brake buster right and, you know it's like that highly marketed thing it's kind of quote unquote mainstream when it comes to the wheel slash tire cleaner it's like everyone's go to at least at some point and then they find out hey there's Plenty of better ones out there, actually. <laughs> you know, um, I've used it quite a bit, and yeah, I think um, you're you're always gonna have to do two, at least two passes for sure, just to even get some th sort of result. And even then, I think you have to go through three passes just to be sure. Okay, and uh, um, so I think even you know with that. That other to what 41 or 104 uh, will probably be the go to. The same with Dark Fury. So basically, if I don't have Dark Fury, um, I'll use this, right? And if I can't buy that, I'll go to Dark Fury. You know, that's essentially how I see it for the most part. So yeah, um, just wanted to get that out of the way. Um, you know. Nothing else new over here, ish. I'm still using this. Um, the water distiller has been serving me pretty well. Um, I actually, on a, a separate subject, I guess, but kind of related here. Uh, I have actually washed two cars that aren't the anyone in the family. <laughs> um, I've detailed two cars, like two, you know, uh, I detailed my neighbor's car. Uh, which is the uh, the Audi, which should be out before or after this video, and uh, my sister's boyfriend's BMW, which is kind of funny. They're both you know luxurious car brands, right? And um, you know they both were very happy with my uh, result, so um, pretty happy with that because I'm uh, pretty. I do feel pretty confident that if I were to you know step into the whole detailing business, you know, um, I would have some uh, potential for sure, promise and, uh, and, you know, deliver the uh, to the industry sort of right, I can put my foot down and stuff like that. And uh, make a name for myself later down the line, if I were to uh, go full time on it, if you know, if I want to, but um, there are things that prevent me from doing so and it's not so bad but it's like um i kind of just rather not do it for full time i just rather do it on the side business make some po good pocket money out of it you know i like watching cars you know I, and that's kind of how i see it um i i spent so much money on this stuff um i'm not making any money back anytime soon but yeah if i were to do this on a consistent basis i can definitely make my money back you know, um, at least eventually, <laughs> but I mean, if I were to, I guess, like I said, if I were to go full time on it, hey, I mean, who knows how fast I can, you know, uh, get my money back and stuff like that and start actually making money with it. But, um, when it comes to, uh, doing it part time, I feel like this is really good for the most part. I've done two cars with it um i can definitely generate enough distilled water to do a car for the for the day um probably two um two suvs maybe three compact cars or something like that with the amount of water i produce by the time i get to washing but um 
that's only because I do it on the weekend. So I have all the time to generate all the, the distilled water. But if I were to try to do this on a sort of day-to-day -day basis, then that's a little more difficult. So yeah, definitely the water distiller is def of this size is definitely perfect for the DIY people, uh, enthusiasts, and part-time detailers that do it only on the weekend. So uh, if you were to go full-time, you'll probably have to go to the spotless water renting it out from you know that those places right that's probably going to be um the more efficient way to go but that's only if you're going full-time and you're like already well into the business sort of thing you know I, I don't think it's something you immediately get as soon as you start because you're already losing money there right um sorry about that there's magnets on it so the magnet will stick to it anyway so um uh it is to say though that this is great for that type of um situation so part-time detailing at most it works um weekend warrior stuff it definitely works you know for that final rinse producing your chemicals you know your for your sprays um i definitely have used the k quite a bit the setup has been changed quite a bit throughout um my uses with it right now i'm using a uh, a coiled hose from flexzilla and i stuck with this for the most part now uh, it has the extended um uh what do you call it? hose or uh attachment <laughs> and then uh this spray head is completely separate um, I just found this on Amazon and it just happened to fit and um, it's kind of MacGyvered <laughs> honestly I put some thread tape on it to make it not leak and um, I actually had to get some extra o-rings for um, this part right here the quick connect right here to make sure it doesn't leak and this is a very key component right here to make this all work as well this ball swivel thing is nice. The quick connect thing is kind of whatever, uh, but but it works. And this whole thing works. Um, I was able to get um, make use of the three gallons of rinse of solution with the uh, you know Hero for example, and I was able to wash the entire Audi. You know, it's a, the SUV and everything. It's a pretty, it's a mid-sized SUV or a pretty good-sized SUV to say the least. And um, <laughs> um, and I was able to, um, you know, get a good good use out of it. Right. When it came to uh, where's that gun? Uh, what's that spray gun? Um, let me see. Oh, there it is. It's over here. When it came to this, it works, but very, it just goes through three gallons so fast. But you get the rinsing capabilities out of this one because it just sprays out so much more product. Um, I even have a qu extra quick connect right there. But um, yeah, I think this would be really good for like really caked on stuff. But this, um the other one you can adjust it right you can twist and everything so that it has a good mist but also um you can focus it so that you can like rinse off certain spots and i'll do the job honestly and um and uh, that'll get through the wash you know just as fine yeah but again i've um adopted like the uh sort of a hybrid system kind of like I also rinse with just water, regular ass top tap water from the hose. And then I, um, you know, it's like spray, rinse, spray with the rinseless wash. You know, you do your contact wash and then you dry it off as you would with rinseless, right? You know, with the towel and everything on, uh, with the rinses still on there, right? Cause you don't rinse off before you dry. That's the whole point of rinseless. You rinse less, not it's not a no rinse or whatever right but you still at the end of the day do want to rinse especially if there's like stuff on there that's more caked on than anything 
Um, I wonder if this, sorry, I'm getting distracted. I'm wondering if this is still liquid. Let me see, because I've opened this and used it for the Corolla. Um, let me see. Oh, wow, it's still, I don't know if you can hear that. It's still liquidy, so, oh, my, oh, well, that smell is coming through, but um, I'm definitely, can you, can you go back in, please? Thank you. All right, so I'm definitely going to have to wash my hands after, but anyway, um, put that back in there along with the applicator, but yeah. Um, that stuff kind of smells, but it's, it's just kind of like a, like paint thinner. Um, anyway, the, uh, I mean, I guess I can pull it out again just to talk about it, but, um, the actual application of the ceramic coating was, it wasn't the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. You know, that's one way to put it. And, um, the only thing you have to really keep in mind is just like where you put your product and stuff like that. You have to be mindful because um, I'm just gonna just use this car as an example. I wiped off everything. I leveled off everything. I actually missed the window, the passenger win front window over there and the mirror. So I left a big giant high spot. <laughs> so I had to polish it off, do it again, you know, and then, um, uh, and I actually realized, right, that uh, the thing flashed so fast, like the rainbow effect came by so fast that um, it didn't even happen on the paint. And I couldn't even see it on the paint because one, like like this car here, my Corolla is white, you know? So you can't see it already, but the fact that it flashed that fast under my conditions, that made it all the more hard to see if it was ready to um, to get leveled and stuff like that. So um, my tip for those who are watching this, who wants to do ceramic coating for their first time, if you have a white car, go ahead and test it on the window first because it's obviously darker. And so that way you can actually see how fast it flashes or becomes, uh, becomes that rainbow -y oil slick kind of thing. Uh, with your setup, right? That way you can figure out how long you can leave it on there, right? So in my case, it would probably have been um, just a minute, but I left it on for, you know, the full five minutes as it was in the, in the instructions. And uh, um, I wind up, um, you know, giving it more time than it was necessary, but it was still easy to level off and everything. Um, it was just that I could just wait it for a minute and still had the same effect of leveling it off and everything. So the next time I like, you know, work on my mom's car, for example, to do a ceramic coating, I'll do the window first just to test how fla uh, fast it, fla uh, no, not flash, but it rainbows. Um, and then we can go from there, you know? Um, so I think honestly, that might be the next project is just to ceramic coat my mom's car and maybe my sister's cars eventually but we'll see we'll see um if i am going to do a ceramic coating for my family's cars then i'll definitely test it with different ones um one comes to mind is ethos and then maybe the one another one is a um, uh, armor detail supply or ads quartz uh, that would be pretty cool to try out, you know, and so I can, that, so that way I can definitely test out, oh, what would happen if you just keep it in a garage, like this car, for example, and then my sister is kind of more, definitely more of a daily driver, so we can de definitely de test another ceramic coating, perhaps, to see how long it lasts on her part, too, you know, potentially. But for right now, for my car, is the only one that's ceramic coated, and it has the DIY detail eight-year one. So um, I'll definitely have to get more stuff to be, be ready for the maintenance washers, uh, where I have to like decon the surface, unclog the thing, do the three pH system wash, all that stuff. So I already have a foam can, another foam cannon coming, and then I'm gonna have um, eventually buy myself a. Um, the shampoo system, right? The, the, three, the, the three pH system and whatever else necessary equipment uh, to do said 
uh, maintenance wash or whatever. So yeah, I mean, that's honestly what I have to, just have to do. And from here on out, it's like nothing else super new. I mean, I've already gotten all the stuff. I got the, the IK foam sprayers, the these big ones right here. I got, a, I, got, I got a detail keg. I have another detail keg, in fact. That one came first. And then this one, right. This is my go main go-to, by the way. It's a five gallon refurbished one. It has a seven up logo on it, which I love, right? I don't know why, but I love it. Um, you know, another hose right there for the keg. Um, this freaking ridiculous, but awesome wash cart right here that's still with me. Um, despite how small it is and stuff like that. Um, it still has the same water DI system. This water softener has been helping me out quite a bit. Um, yeah, man, it's uh, same with, you know, DIY rinses wash, armor detail rinses wash, hero rinses wash, that is. Carpal reset. Um, yeah, I mean, I honestly, um, I got, I got a bit of everything, right? I got all the other stuff on the bottom too, like the spray on, uh, sealant, like Gion wet coat, iron remover from stoner, uh, car care, uh, another iron remover back there from Gion, which I love by the way, um, tire shine, tire dressing, uh, detail, graphene, detail, detail spray, uh, I do have this water spot remover right here from 3D, but I kind of rather get one from like, that's a spray bottle, right? Instead of like a gel. Um, I mean, I'll test it out. We'll see. We'll see. And then I have my uh, Marilex sprayer. You know, I got a bit, a bit of everything, you know. And um, there's always new stuff to try out on the market, right? So that's, there's that, you know. So it's not like uh, my journey ends here or whatever. I mean, I'm still gonna wash, you know? <laughs> so, um, but it, when it comes to just like the big things, like I felt, I felt like I, I went on that, like that shopping spree for a good while, you know? Because I was essentially catching up to car washing at the time, right, of 2023, that was like a huge year for that. I mean, starting from uh, October, of 2023 man it's it's been ridiculous but you know at the end of the day i mean that's what you do for a hobby right if you're really into that hobby you just buy all this stuff or you get all the stuff you can or want you know or whatever and man it's it's something you know and i, and I actually thought of doing a ceramic coat and i did it right i'm like you know at the very first time I came back to the whole car detailing thing. I thought to myself, nah, I'm not gonna ceramic coat, that's too far. But here I am, it's it, it's it's pretty easy. It's, you know, I got, I, I mean, you know, with the polish and everything, I even forgot I, to mention, I got all these polishing pads right here and all that stuff, the polishers over there somewhere. It's crazy, it's crazy, man. I, you know, I forgot to mention, right? This whole water distiller thing, I have like three, three tanks. Like this is one that came with that. Another seven gallon tank right here. Another three gallon tank right here. It's like, it's crazy, man. Why am I doing all this stuff, right? It's all, it's all about cart detailing. Oh yeah, I use a salad bowl. I use a salad bowl for polishing, right? To clean out the pad in between, you know? Foam can right here, pressure washer down there, you know? It's crazy, man, it's crazy. I was just catching up to the game, man. <laughs> in 2023, the end of 2023. But now I'm, um, for the most part, caught up, man. It's like it's like uh, that situation you you see in a video game, where you know you you pick up this video game and you have fun with it. It's like, man, I'm, I really dig it. But the game came out like this many years ago, and you're just like, oh man, you know, got to catch up to to everyone else eventually. But you do it. You know, it takes uh, quite a bit, but um, sometimes it's easier than others, right? Um, you know, for example, right, uh, Grand Blue Fantasy, you know, for those who kind of understand what that is. Um, 
it essentially is all about that, right? If you start now, oh boy, you have uh, quite a bit of catching up to do. Um, they did Im implement a system about that to help you catch up really fast with the weapons and everything to set you up for like pretty, pretty good grid systems. But anyway, that's a whole separate discussion. The whole point is, is that I did that, but with the car, the car wash stuff, <laughs> you know, uh, GoPro right here, just for car washing, right? Mic setup for the car wash, essentially, you know, but here's the thing. I can potentially make extra money out of it too. And to exercise that hobby as well. It's, it's, you know, it's just one of those beautiful things, right? Of how it all kind of comes together. It's crazy, you know, of how life works, but hey, you know, it is what it is. So with that, I'm going to end it on that note. Um, honestly, I'm just going to uh, probably start to jibber jabber and all that stuff. Uh, the only other thing in mind is that I do want to go back to Harbor Freight and get more of those like the ultra plush towels that are like green and purple. Those are really good. Um, I wanted to get myself more of those, but uh, the one nearby me, the Harbor Freight nearby me, ran out of those like real fast. So I got to like go somewhere else to grab those bad boys because I do want more of them. I probably, in fact, will buy two packs of those because they're real cheap and they're real good. So they've been serving me pretty well. At least thus, thus, uh, thus far, anyway. Um, trying to see if I can like make time for it uh, on a weekend or something, but we'll get there eventually, and um, we'll go from there. So, thank you very much. If you have any comments? Leave me down below. Uh, my car washing stuff will definitely continue somehow. I'll that I would like to do more product testing and stuff like that. Cause yeah, I mean it. Um, People like to watch them. I understand because I am curious myself too of what works, what doesn't. And um, I get it, man. I get it. And um, I would like to be the one to make them too at that. To see, you know, the results for myself on my car with my setup and everything, with my water and all that stuff, right? So, um, and I like that it is interesting that results do vary and all that. So anyways... Leave any comment section below about car detailing. I'll like to check those out. And uh, yeah, so hopefully the mic came through with this new setup and everything. Because if it works, I can definitely um, really tap into it and all that stuff. Uh, really make it'll make filming a whole lot easier. So uh, I'm gonna tap on the mic one more time just to see if it works. And uh, pray pray, uh, pray that it does. <laughs> all right. Thank you very much, and hope to see you all in the next one. Sean out.